Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 Siege Battle for you today and we have a great 2v2 uh, matchup here. We have France and Burgundy versus Bohemia and Lorraine. So we have a lot of French factions on the, on the battle today and uh, it'll be interesting to see which ones come out on top. I am playing in this one, I am playing as France over here. The Royal Army of France has arrived. It hurts me as a British uh, person to be playing, or British a British... Uh, yeah, British person to be playing as France. Um, but yeah, so I mean, we'll hopefully uh, do some great glory with France, even though it will be uh, sacrilege. But I mean, Britain, uh, Britain, England is not very good on the uh, on the offensive. There's certainly a better defensive faction, and France is definitely one of the stronger factions on the attack. So why they were brought today? We have Burgundy over already over here, bringing up some levy macemen. Whether these guys will be any good, they're 15th century going up against 14th century. I don't think these guys are going to break through, though. Their armor doesn't look very good. Uh, I'm kind of surprising that Burgundy brought so many levy macemen, to be honest. I would have thought he would have brought a bit more elite stuff. He's brought Dismounted Chevaliers as his next line of attack. They are 1st century, or like, not 1st century, but tier 1, though. So, kind of interesting he brought them. Burgundy, I'd say, does better in its cavalry than it does in its uh, infantry, possibly. Infantry department is not great. But, I mean, it's useful that these uh, crossbows just firing into the back of their own Pavi Spears. That's always useful. But we have now engaged on this side as well. We have sergeants going in over here against Pavi Spears. And they should hold the line quite nicely. The glorious blue. And we have uh, Ar archers in behind. We have uh, Scots Guard over here. And we have uh, Frank archers. And I'm pretty sure we got the, like, the third company E. Yeah, somewhere along here. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere in here. Oh, that's in there. They're right on the end. Right on the end. Another elite unit here. Volley! I think we're focusing down that archer sergeant at the back here. Which is getting absolutely peppered. Right, I saw us about 40 men already and dropping. Look at this drop, by the way. How are these archers not, like, breaking their legs after falling down here? I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content at the moment recently. I do enjoy, um, well, I can only thank you for all your support recently. Um, and if you want to see more 1212 action, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe for new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. As always, do enjoy seeing all the comments and support, and keep it up, guys. I'm sure we, we're on the road to that 2000 mark, and we'll get there, I'm sure, in no time. Look at that shield that he, this guy's got here. He's like got Satan on his shield. Maybe he is the spawn of Satan. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. And he keeps turning his shield annoyingly, but uh, you, you've seen it. It's there. So that's very cool. Let's see if we can get a kill. He's doing a lot of blocking with his scary shield. No, it doesn't look like... Oh, he might get killed with the archers coming in. I just want you to get one kill, sir. Can you do that? Possibly, possibly not. Ah, well, he's boring me now. He is boring me now. Um, but yeah, if you want to get involved in some of these 12-12 battles, then do join the Discord. The link is in the description. Um, always need some more players for 12-12. It's a great mod, and I feel like there's never enough people on there playing it for some really epic battles. But uh, if you do want to get involved in some, then do join the Discord down below. And you can just come and interact with some uh, more Total War players and such like. But I mean, it looks like Burgundy's now setting up his Chevaliers, and he's uh, going up against Pavis. Pavis aren't great at getting kills, but they'll hold up troops for ages. Allowing archers to shoot, but I can't see any archers put over here, really. I mean, they've got some crossbows here that just are holding their fire. Not really doing anything else, though. And they've got pikes all the way back here. I mean, they've got a stern, like, final defense. This is going to be nasty. This, like, whole wall is filled with uh, archer sergeants from Bohemia, and we've got gunners from Lorraine as well. But, I mean, yeah, this is a stern defense. Look at the... This wall is chock-a-block full of archers. I mean, they've got some archers over here now firing. I mean, I don't know how much the damage they're doing. They're just shooting some crossbows. We've got some shock infantry now coming up. Some dismounted French chevaliers. 
they'll help break through this Pavis line. I mean, we, the French are slowly breaking through. I like how units keep getting spawned up here. Like, this guy, I don't know how he's just really go up here, but it's like the bug of the map. You kind of just, like, jump up. And you start flying up there. There's another one. Oh, and he's going to fall to his death. No. Oh, no, he's got up again. He's up again. See, he's like, another one falls. Ah, and then he spawns back up here. Look at this. so weird. Oh, no, he's gone again. <laughs> no. It's going to be a... I wonder if they take damage from that and they eventually die. I don't know. They might do. That's so buggy and so funny. Yeah, they, they, there you go. The Chevaliers are now in there and they'll start to uh, do a lot of damage with their big axes. They'll break the uh, shields of these pavies. Look at them. They're just falling off the side again here. Just a constant loop. But, I mean, this map, uh, this, map, this uh, mod is so glorious. It's like looking at the silver shining armor, of the French Chevaliers, mixing there with like the darker, like greens and reds and stuff. They like they're just the peasant pavis. Looks really nice. I just they just got this like medieval worlds like on par. So it just looks great. And uh, I think they are losing. Yeah, this unit is losing. It's only lost 60 men though. It's going to take a lot more to break down this line. And they've got some uh, macemen ready. So I mean they're not going to give up just yet. These uh, levy macemen seem to be doing okay. They're actually getting a fair amount of kills. Got crossbows back here. Pabby's crossbows firing. They look like they're duking it out with, uh, well, it looks like archer sergeants. I don't know how many archer sergeants uh, Bohemia brought, but he brought a lot. Put it like that. I think most of his army is made up of archer sergeants. He's brought at least seven, I think. Maybe, I think. Um, some of these might be Frank archers. I'm, look I'm like, just... Moving them around. No, they're all Archer Sergeants. Bar one unit of Frank Archers there. They are all Archer Sergeants. Did Lorraine just not bother to bring Archer? I mean, he's brought some Pavis over here as well, but he's not just not bothered to bring stuff by the looks of it. More Archer Sergeants. He's got some Frank's Archers come up here. Okay. But I mean, he's now sending his, Frank, uh, his Archer Sergeants into combat. I don't think they're going to stop the onslaught of uh, the Chevaliers. And you can see here, I'm just focusing fire with all five units onto one Frank Archer unit. Just to wait, weaken it as much as possible. It's the easiest way to do the damage. I mean, they're trying to look at this. They're trying to form up in loose formation, but it just doesn't happen. On the defense, it's really hard to find spots for uh, loose formation. I mean, this is a good spot here. But they won't be able to reach in range then. And there we go. Burgundy starting to waver. Got these Levy Macemen. They're breaking or wavering at 111. This one's wavering at 91. So, I mean, this is the thing. Their quality is just not there. They need to send up maybe some... Uh, I don't know, pole arms already, possibly. Break through this line. They've got a lot to break through. They've got macemen over here. They've got uh, Mosul merchant marines. They got do have some guild halberds over here as well that need breaking. And on this side, the French are still doing their best. They're still breaking through. Two units now losing decisively. It's so frustrating. These guys are just like... How they're still holding, I have no idea. Should have possibly fired a few volleys in here, do some damage to them. The archer sergeants, though, look just... They are literally peasants compared to, like, the armoured of the... Armoured knights of the French. Even the sergeants look better than the archer sergeants. The Bohemia, I mean, I guess the Bohemia is, like... It's more of an Eastern European faction. They do have, like, different armour. It's not looking as uh, glamorous as the Western European armour. Or certainly the French armour. They are the flower of chivalry, chivalry after all. This guy's got like a blue scabbard going on. That looks really nice. Wonder how much that cost him. But yeah, there you go. I mean, Burgundy's still being held in check over here. I, surely he could get through. I mean, he's only just being held in check. There is a definite gap sign to come. This just map so weird. It's got like huge drops everywhere. And we can't forget that the defenders do have some cavalry over here. I haven't mentioned it yet, but they do have two units of mounted sergeants over here from uh, Lorraine. And I mean, these units are only tier one, but I mean, this tier one cavalry could probably still do a lot of damage to archers. And this is a huge area over here. I mean, we're just like occupying, like they're having to keep three units here just to block this choke point off. What? Because if they don't, then we could just send cavalry around. We could just make all their other defenses redundant. And there we go. Finally, 
breaking the archers and breaking the uh, pavis. And we're now fighting the macemen who are also losing. And there you go, the cavalry's been mobilized. Gendarmes are going. I've had enough. They're going to get moved up. I'm not happy with the... Uh, well, the uh, Burg Burgundians are not doing an a good enough job. The uh, kinsmen of the French almost. They are, kind of, they are part of the same... Well, they're very close in geography, so they probably are kinsmen. And they are, Burgundy does become part of France, so yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, the Burgundians are not doing a good enough job. They're not breaking through quickly enough. They're losing too many men. I mean, I've not broken through either, but I've not lost that many men in comparison. And looking at the balance of power, we've lost about 300 men. They've lost about nearly 1,000, so that's a good start. We are doing a lot of damage. But not enough. They do. A, they still outnumber us ever so slightly. And here we go. I'm bringing my gendarmes over because I plan to use it to break to do some uh, cycle charges on the swords here. Because I would like to try and uh, either break them or just do enough damage so that the infantry then, like, we can then send up some infantry here. If they, I was demanding my Burgundian allies just sends up some shock to come and support this assault. So they just like attack the spears, keep them in place while I just uh, charge the swords here. And then if the swords decide to flank, I could charge them again. But it doesn't look like my Burgundian allies are listening to me, sadly. So uh, that's a shame. So these gendarmes are just going to have to sit over here for a bit. Just have a look. And we'll have to see what happens with them in a moment. There you go. It looks like Burgundy's finally broken through this first line of spearmen. He needs to really push on now because he can get these macemen. And then you can get to these archers. There's a lot of archers back in. They're really grouped up. They are losing a lot of men of these archers. And they're actually falling back troops already. The uh, pole arms have disappeared. Oh, to go over here. Okay. Pole arms are now over here. And they're forcing the Burgundians to break here. Here we go. The gendarmes are going to get ready. They're going to go in for a charge. And they're going to go in for the swords here. The Mosul Marines. And they're in shield wall, so it didn't do a great ja deal of damage initially. I'm now falling back. The gendarmes haven't lost a single man yet, but they've actually killed about 30 Mosul Marines. There you go. The gendarmes lost about one or two men, I think, there. Six. Okay, it's not that bad. That's a not bad trade. I think most of them, uh, like, when they got caught on those sergeants there, they did the damage. But um, I think they might do another charge. It wasn't too many losses. Seven losses in the end. Killing about 30 Mosul Marines. That's not bad. They are wearing shield walls, so that's a pretty good result. If they can do that a couple more times, they can break through this defense here. Without an issue. And then they can get in behind and go and take out all these other uh, choke points. That the uh, allies, or the allies, the uh, defenders are looking after. They are now getting shot by uh, crossbows. So they can't really allow that. Another one's just dropped there, another gendarme. And here we go. They're going to come in again to the gendarmes. And they didn't break through again. Again, there was, I mean, a few of them break through. The banner carrier is there with his Carling banner. And these Mosul Marines now are in trouble. They're down to, well, 96 that time, so we killed well over 40. But, I mean, those uh, gendarmes are pretty beaten up now. 63 of them left. Going to need to uh, look after them. They're starting to take fire from archers as well. Which, and these crossbows are armor piercing. So they'll do a lot of damage. Really need the shock up here. But yeah, so at this point, my ally uh, disconnects from the battle. So I'm now fighting a 2v1 on my own. Um, so that's why you see like Halberds just charging in here on their own. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame that my ally uh, like drops from the game. But we persist. We persist. With AI or not, we will uh, do fine here. We have, we have the glorious French army. How could we not succeed? And now it looks like more Mosul Marines being sent in over here now to hold back. Because the Mason still aren't doing a good enough job. They just really want to keep these uh, shock infantry in place. And the shock infantry is still taking names. It's still doing damage. They're only starting to take losses now. 121. These Mosul Marines are uh, not going to stop them it seems at this point. It looks like they're already falling back to this next stage. They've, I mean, they've got a lot still here. They're not going to send more out. They're quite happy to just contain us now at this point. Which is a bit frustrating because it's a very strong defense. 
And there you go, you can see this Burgundy's just going to quite happily blob here now. He's not going to charge forward. And that's all just because of, well, well, reasons. And there you go, so my uh, gendarmes are now going through here, and they're going after... They're actually just going around here, they're just going to do a flank. And at the same time, I'm... I haven't actually sent them forward yet. My uh, Sergeant Cheval I have not moved forward yet either, which my other cavalry unit. There you go. The gendarmes are going to go in. The enemy has discovered our hidden troops. And they go into combat. And so, yeah, my cavalry doesn't get off a great charge there. Gets off a quite a poor charge, but they're still taking names on these mounted sergeants. And now they're losing decisively. I mean, there's tier 3 versus tier 1. Oh, no, it's tier 2 versus tier 1. So, I mean, I think I should do okay here. I'm winning this decisively. As it goes on though, that might not last. I might need to get more carry over there. If the AI <laughs> would send its general over here, we'd do just fine. But uh, it's not to be because the AI is uh, playing a bit silly. There you go. I mean, they've at least got some dismounted chevaliers inside. So well done to the AI there. And they've just sent in like all of their infantry to kill all these archers off. So I mean, that's a poor way for them. The uh, defenders lose a lot of infantry. But there you go, Burgundy's just going to overwhelm this tiny Lorraine defense. Got all sorts in here. We've got shock infantry. We've got, well, sergeants, I think, macemen, certainly ducal heavy guard, uh, foot guards. There's a lot in there. And there you go. It's now gone to even, so that's not so good. Losing decisively, though. Combat even. And there you go. I bet that's going to be the turn of the tide in that carry fight. So if I can win that carry fight, then I can quickly get inside, flank the rest of this stuff, possibly get up here. Could be some really good plays there. And there you go, I've got my Sergeant of Cheval coming around as well. They're going to take the long route to go around, and they're going to try and flank there. That's fine. And Bohemia's seen what he can do, and he's got his general moving as well. It's his general bodyguard getting a move, or king bodyguard getting a move on. And my king is also coming over this way. The King of France. And the plan is, because Lorraine has sallied out here, strangely, he's sallied out to come and face down Burgundy because he thinks he can beat the AI. And oh, he might be wrong here because these are... Uh, I mean, these Spanish Chevaliers are losing, but the Ducal Household Longbowmen are doing their worst here. I mean, they look excellent. They do a... They look excellent. They're taking names. These are very, very elite archers. And the plan is with my general is to flank around wherever he is. There he is. Flank around and just route these units. They've decided to come out. And this is now easy pickings. This is three easy pickings. Four easy pickings, in fact, for the French general to go and take out. And here we go. So we're going to have a charge, go into the forest, take out these uh, pavis. And that will, uh, that will silence them, and it should eventually kill them off. They, there you go, my... Uh, Sirens of Cheval have got round. I don't know where the King's bodyguard is. Oh, he's still coming. He's still on a silver chevron as well. Jeez. He is an elite man. And here we go. The sergeant's coming in. And that should... I mean, they're lose, still saying combat even. I mean, my gendarmes are losing. They should really have pulled out and then gone for another charge, probably. But there you go, the unit here wavering. So we may there is hope for this cavalry fight, but here comes the King's Bodyguard. This is not good. May need to send the sergeants uh, back to go over here, but I must have been preoccupied elsewhere. Because here comes the King's Bodyguard into the charge. And there you go, the, the King there in his black armor. Very distinguishable. He's got a kill as well. Excellent. And my gendarmes break. And my cheval, uh, my sergeant's about to do the same. That's a shame. So the cavalry flank is uh, the idea that we had there is almost up. My king is slightly in trouble, and I'm aware of this. So, so I pull him out of combat. And I'm going to get him to charge this pavis again. But I mean, this flank's really been dealt quite well by the uh, infantry of Burgundy rather than the cavalry of France. And yeah, we go for another charge. And we should murder these uh, 
Murder those Paris. Cut them down, the peasants. They don't have a horse, so they must be a peasant. But yeah, these um, Mosul merchants are starting, starting, now starting to lose. I'm uh, My dismounted French Chevaliers, 85 men. And I've got pikes now coming up. I'm getting sick and tired of it. And I'm like, right, we're sending in halberds. So we've got some of the Swiss, some of the finest Swiss halberds money can buy. To come up, and they're going to come and uh, poke these men to death, probably. And we've got a solid defense over here, though. I mean, there's lots of halberdiers. Lots of uh, Pavi Spears still away. We've got even some Hussite flailmen. We've got peasants and women to face us on this final defense. Um, but no, that, they should put up some sort of defense. They're actually okay if they are supported with stuff. But um, their armor is kind of... They remind me of Falksman a bit. Their armor's not great, but they uh, are pretty scary in the offensive. And here we go. We've got Bohemia with his general and... Lorraine with their cavalry coming around and they could threaten and they might go after the uh, Duke's bodyguard here yeah, Because he's just sitting here because it's the AI but We've got dismounted Chevaliers here as well. They might want to go after them charge them down. They're a solid unit But right now Baz Pass still in our favor With 4,000 extra troops uh, Well 4,000 extra troops with about 700 extra troops 4,000 to 3,200 uh, We're doing okay Got gunners here firing. Where are they shooting? I think they're shooting as these guys run back up the hill. But the AI is uh, temperamental and I can't control them. So, I mean, they could do whatever at this point. Looks like these halberds are going to retreat. And they're going to get out of here. So, that's a win for the defenders. They've got those halberds out. I mean, they're well and truly entrenched on this hill now. They've got so much up here. I did not realize how much they had up here when fighting. And, uh, I mean, these pikes are going to be a pain to get through. I mean, there is a gap, though. There is a slight gap. That might be useful. And here we go. The French are finally in. We didn't lose too much. We only had one sergeant unit who got fairly beaten up. And the others, like, did just fine. This is the only three units part of the, uh, the pikes or the uh, halberds that got engaged. So that's very healthy. We've got cavalry over here. This French cavalry, would, uh, this uh, Burgundian cavalry, sorry, would have been so useful in the fight round there on the corner. And it's certainly going to be will be needed when the uh, general is thrown because that is definitely they're not moving back they're go they're gonna wait I think wait until their uh, Burgundy's like army's very much gone in the other direction I mean the handgun is here now firing on uh, just about anything and everything and there you go archers coming down firing on these handgunners and they've got very little armor so they won't be able to stop the armor piercing arrows and they're gonna go over and shoot these uh, pikes by the looks of it they might route first who knows? They're getting shot up. Jeez, these guys are getting shot up. Look at that. They are just like getting hit down in the droves. Poor men. This is the AI's like tactics. Just gun them down. I mean, we fail. if you look at this, this is like a firing squad up here. There is literally hundreds of archers up here. Just firing down. It's disgusting. And there, yeah, these handguns are going to break. There you go. They broke. There's so much ammo left. And they re they rallied again. They're going to volley. Are you going to fire? No. They might. No. They're going to get shot at point blank range. There you go. They fired a few shots. I don't know what they're shooting at exactly. They missed. I don't think they got a single kill and they're firing at point blank range. If they're shooting at the Frank archers. They missed them. If they're shooting at the gunners. Oh, they got a few kills here. Okay. I don't know if that's friendly fire or the gunners. Could be neither. I mean, it could be either, sorry. It would definitely be one or the other. These sergeants now going up. This was a mistake by me. Um, I shouldn't have sent these sergeants up. I should not have sent these sergeants up. Though it is soaking up ammo, it's not really a very effective way of soaking up ammo because I'm not going to get many kills from it. We're now fighting the Pavi Spears over here. Uh, my shock infantry is actually breaking 62 men, and my sergeants are about to do the same. Though we have broken the pavis first, now we've got to face some halberds at the top of this hill. Not done yet. So I think the aim is now to shoot them with a... The enemy general is dead! I didn't even realise! So uh, Bohemia did go for this attack. And he got killed by the Duke's uh, bodyguard and by the shock infantry. I did not realise um, in battle or in replay that it happened. But uh, yeah, so Bohemia has no general now. 
So that's going to be huge for morale. Because uh, the town center doesn't give you extra morale buffs. See, this is what I mean by the AI. What's it doing with these two units of dismounted chevaliers around here? I mean, they're soaking up some ammo, which is kind of a pro nice of them. But I could do with them, like, over here for this assault on these two slopes. There's no slopes around here which you can go up. Fools. But it looks like they're going to come and capture this, whatever this is. This is like another capture point out here. Which, uh, I don't know if it does any... Uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything for us. It's so bizarre. There's another one here, obviously. Oh, wow. This one actually can capture from outside the... Oh, that's broken. You can capture that from outside the city. If you wanted to. That's very broken. Yeah, here we go. Sergeant's now going up. 122 men going to their deaths, basically. Uh, they're fighting in this wood. Where you can... You can't see much and... I mean, I'll just describe it to you. It's just pure death. Uh, they're going up, these sergeants, and they're going to get stabbed by a pike or they're going to get killed by archers. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the issue. These uh, are blasters, all the crossbows here. Now I'm going to get point blank range and shoot these uh, these pikes, really. I mean, we've still got plenty of reserves. We've still got a lot of pikes. We've got a lot of shark infantry. I mean, if the AI like decides to bring up its troops, then we're doing, looking okay. Yeah, we're now going to fire down on these archers, on these on these pikes, sorry. But yeah, the sergeant's got routed. 68, that's a fresh unit. It was a very stupid mistake by me. And here we go. Oh, God. Move over. Right, so it looks like the Duke's bodyguard's now fighting the uh, mounted sergeants. No surprise who's winning this. It's a tier 3 general versus a tier 1 cavalry unit. It's a massacre. We'll put it like that. And then the uh, King's Bodyguard's coming over to join. I mean, he actually did cheat, charge those levy Mason quite effectively. I mean, it looks like the Dismounted Chevaliers are going to come over and try and clear up the job. Yeah, this uh, General's Bodyguard's doing a good job on these uh, Macemen. <laughs> he's doing a very good job there. But he's actually going to get caught by these uh, Chevaliers, these Dismounted Chevaliers. And they're, oh my god, they are re running really quick with those uh, that armor. How would you do that? You physically couldn't. But yeah, so I mean, these Chevaliers should chop down the uh, King's Bodyguard. Bohemia will die here. There you go. His general is, uh, well, his general's already dead, but the general's bodyguard's gone. And now the sergeants carry on their fight. They're going to carry on instead of the... I mean, this bodyguard was winning. Now it's just losing men unnecessarily. It lost, like, so many men unnecessarily there. But, I mean, at least the science, the science will get chopped up by these Chevaliers, I guess. But yeah, Burgundy's kind of just not doing anything. I mean, there's, look at this. They send up Pabis right up to here. I mean, I presume these guys might be getting shot by... Yeah, they're getting shot by archers. That's at least good. The AI's doing something sensible there. But, um, yeah, they're focusing down now. The pikes are, well, literally the entire French archer force, basically. We've got... Uh, three company E here. We've got our blasters. We've got Frank, Frank archers. Can't really see what they're firing up, but they're firing literally all the way up there. And you can just about see those, uh, just about see the pikes. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, this pike unit is now down to 109, which is a good start. A bit more. I mean, they, they're certainly going to be losing armor. These poor guys on the end are definitely the ones dying the most. Jeez. Oh. Look at that poor man. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, they're getting shot from everywhere. I think they're getting shot from here as well. These guard of scores might be shooting them. Yep, we're sending more assaults up here. What's broke here just now? Mosul Marines broke. We've got some sergeant at arms here. Trying to break through Pavi Spears and it's uh, not having any luck. We'll put it like that. We're not having any luck. They're so frustrating, Pavis. Just so frustrating. Because this is like a prime use for them. They're not like getting many kills. But they're slowing uh, the infantry down. Just to allow these gunners up here. And the uh, archers I presume as well. Getting a plenty of kills. Yeah these gunners are racking up. This unit is huge. I just realized. 160 men. It goes all the way around here. That is insane. 
But yeah, these guys, yeah, you can see from there, they just... This is the angle they had, and they're just able to gun anything down, and the uh, Sergeant at Arms, no surprise, broke there. And now they're able to just focus down any Frank archers, which uh, are still around here, and they're breaking. I mean, so are the Pavi Spears, though. The Pavi Spears might waver as well. They might go. Sergeant at Arms did rally, so they might charge them here and then just break them, but it's unlikely. I mean, they punch through a little bit, and they get inside the lines. That's very good. But uh, I don't think they're going to break. Not anytime soon. I think the archers have been focusing uh, these Frank archers at the back here, trying to kill them. One charge from cavalry might break them, but we've not really got any cavalry available. I mean, I've got my general, but I don't really want to throw him yet. And we broke through. We killed all the pikes here, so we broke through. We're now on to some pavies over here with some shot coming up. I'm going to try and break through these, but I don't know how successful we'll be because we have so many light archers to deal with over here. This is just... Ridiculous. And there's more back here. More Frank archers. It's insane. We need all these infantry back here. Like, this is some dismounted chevaliers with some heavy foot guards. We need these guys up at the front lines here to break through these uh, pavis. But no, the AI is just playing dumb. It's a real shame that my uh, teammate dropped. But we're doing an okay job for a 2v1, I think. I personally think we're doing okay. I don't want to toot my own horn too much. But I think we are doing... Okay, with the, with the uh, resources we have, we're doing just fine. But as you can see, like, these Chevrolets are so bloodied up. They already lost seven men. I mean, that's not that bad, actually. We just haven't, That's probably actually pretty good that we only lost seven men. But yeah, they're getting bloodied up. Like, look at the sheer amount of blood on the floor. That is insane. These guys are, like... They must have lost all six pints and like, and more. Okay, they're starting to drop now. But yeah, we've barely killed any of these Pavi Spear. I mean, we could sort of flank here. We probably should have. Look at like having uh, the benefit of hindsight. Should have flanked maybe and then got in. But it's just, it was difficult. You're just trying to rush them up because you just don't want them to stand, like spend too long. Uh... I don't know how to word it. Like, they don't want to spend too long, like, having your men just, like, reposition and position while they're being shot by archers. Because that's just a waste of, like, HP then. That's, I guess, what I was trying to say. I mean, it looks like our final unit of sergeants is going up. I think it's the final unit. It does look like the final unit of sergeants is going to be going up this way. To face some more pavies. And face, like, the gunners and just about everything else. So, I mean. But there's nothing I can do because we weren't allowed to bring artillery. So, I wasn't able to fire at them. With, like, a long-range artillery, like a mortar. Which I think, I think for certainly attackers, they need it. Especially if the defenders are going to do this. It makes it very hard for attackers to do anything. It makes it harder for attackers when your teammate drops. But uh, you, you live and learn from that. And there, here we go. My archers are now... I brought my, archer up, my archers up here for two reasons. Firstly, to fire down on these halberds. If we ever get to these halberds, we've got to break through this still. I mean, we could break through the flamen, I think, easily. It's these uh, pavies which can be an issue. But also to see if they'll uh, the archers will soak up the ammo instead of my uh, chevaliers. But it seems like the defenders are insisting on shooting my chevaliers. Which, I guess, uh, well, I, I, I say that. They are still, they are getting shot by these Frank archers, are my, my own Frank archers and 3E company. But uh, I'll have to see what happens. And here we go. This is a good chance to get some kills. Some archer sergeants coming down. And they find my sergeants at the bottom of this hill, which doesn't benefit the gunner angle at all. And I could shoot, uh, well, I've, to be honest, I've got crossbows back here and archers. I could fire into the back of these uh, troops if I wanted to. I think I am actually trying to shoot either the gunners. I think I'm either trying to shoot the gunners or the halberds. I'm not really sure. One or the other. But, I mean, all we're down to now is uh, two units of halberds, some shock. I think I'm setting up more shock. Oh, no, I sent my second one up there. Yeah, we're, we're kind of running out of stuff. You can see here, like, Burgundy's not helping the situation. He's got so much stuff he has. The balance power is still in our favor. And I think we get through. They've got so much stuff randomly everywhere as the AI. So it's just so frustrating. I was just like, oh, I wish I could take command of them. It'll be such a good, such a good mechanic if your teammate broke. Or not broke, dropped. And you could just uh, take over his troops. Instead of the AI, because I could do a lot of work with them right now. I've got... I'd send them up first, the Burgundians, of course. But, I mean... 
They've got plenty of swords, they've got more pikes, they've got some really good stuff. And they have archers, which I could do with their ammo. And it looks like, uh, well, these archers again are still firing. I don't know what they're firing at. They're still firing at these halberdiers. They're down to 79 men, in fairness. They're actually doing quite well in killing these guys. They're actually wavering. If we can get one more volume, that'd be really good. But I have archers in here now fighting as well. Frank archers without any ammo. It's just, look at the sheer amount of bodies. I don't think we've killed, like, 10 of these guys. Oh, we've actually killed nearly 40 of them. But we're about to break, just like that. So, I mean, this is what happens. I mean, you, they've used up a considerable, considerable amount of their ammo. Nearly all of their archer ammo on these uh, two units here. So that is a good win. But, I don't have much myself anyway left. So, if it was, like I said, if it was Burgundy and I, then uh, that's a huge win. Because Burgundy's got loads of fresh units that can now go up without having to worry about archers. Especially pikes. Which is luckily, uh, what I've got left as well is pikes. Or halberds. So my halberds should, apart from the cannons on the cannoneers on this side, should be archer free. And we've got Hussites now in here. Doing their bit. Look at their spiked like flails. They're now fighting the guard of Scots, which are They're a good infantry unit as well as a archer unit, so they'll do just fine there. Can I identify them with their like huge feathers, the green, white, and red feathers look at that guy here look this guy's literally just a peasant he is literally a peasant like a hooked barb thing if you ever wanted to like simulate like a peasant's revolt this is the unit to use these hustle like flame and they're so good for like that sort of scenario But yeah, I mean, look at, like, the sheer amount that's just waiting to, like, break through. I think I'm firing uh, crossbows, like, bolts. I think I'm firing, yeah, right at the top of this hill. So, that's the plan. It's, like, fire right up here. And, uh, get some kills. Just, like, get the guys that are, like, right at the top to shoot them down. I think we are getting some, but not many. It's a lot of my dead sergeants up there. So, God, it pains me to see all those dead sergeants. And, uh, yeah, so now... They sallied down with their archers to fight me. I'm now actually fighting with my third E company. And they're actually winning. They're uh, an elite unit. They've only lost about 50 odd men. I think mo more of them to archers than to like, arrows than to actually fight in here. But we've broken one archer unit, Frank archers. Now we're fighting some archer sergeants. But they're bringing up some dismounted ridder, which might change the battle. I'm sending up some of my uh, Swiss halberdiers now to counter. And we've got the general nearby as well. So these, uh, this dismounted Ritter will probably do okay here. But yeah, so he now pushes through, which uh, I wasn't happy with. He just pushes through the uh, archers here. That's very cheesy. I mean, he's already winning on this impossible choke point. He doesn't need to come down here and do this. So he now surrounds my archers doing this with a push through. And... Uh, that's a, yeah, luckily he's going to lose men for that. I'm glad he's losing men just for that. It's the karma you get from pushing through. And uh, I'm going to... That's when I decide, right, if you're going to push through, it's time to charge with the general. Get some easy kills. Because, uh, well, they're now charging into the formation as well. So that's worse to them. That they're on the move while I charge into him. And yeah, this dismounted rid has now already lost 40 men. About to be 50. And now the halberds are coming up as well. They need to get up. But yeah, we are starting to lose more men, I think. I don't actually know where that is. Oh, it's the uh, crossbows. They keep getting shot, I think, by the gunners. If they get too close, the gunners open fire on them. But I mean, there's just not much I can do at this point. I've got like one unit of shock and one unit of halberds. And it's all I've got, all I've got now. It's uh, a real, real struggle. But I mean, these dismounted ridder, they're going to die. That's what you get for breaking through. My uh, third company E still holding the line here. 72. They're actually uh, racking up kills on these archer sergeants. Keep getting kills, boys. 
make those Bohemians pay for I don't know. They probably did something awful. But yeah, now they're. A, I mean, I'm getting my. I think I'm trying to get my general out. He's certainly fallen back a bit. He's starting to lose men. And my uh, my halberds are now kind of more in combat. They're winning decisively. This Ritter is losing decisively. It's a good sign. This guy's not even. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if it's just a bugged up unit or it's just like a replay or what. But they got no swords, so no wonder they're losing. I mean, these guys are actually getting punched in to face, like punched to death. If you get killed by one, this guy here, he's getting punched to death. Don't die, otherwise it's an embarrassing way to go. Yeah, he's died. He died being punched to death. Over back on this side, we're starting to finally break some of these archer sergeants. There you go, they rallied again. These guys just don't want to break. My third company is starting to lose, which is not a good sign. So I'm pulling back my general. How many? He's, he's uh, got 26 men left. It's uh, a bit of a risk. And the plan is, I think, I might take a little bit of time. But, I mean, there is a way to get around the situation. Is flank around here. And then I can surround this uh, dismounted ridder. And then it allows this uh, pike unit to move up without any real issue. don't know if I'll do it just yet. I'm probably just still thinking, how am I going to break through this? Because it's so hard. I mean, balance of power... I mean, we still have the numbers, but like I said, I'm actually probably outnumbered because most of those numbers are actually probably representing Burgundy at this point. The and there you go, my third company E break. Uh, those arch sergeants might break soon as well. I think I'm waiting for the arch sergeants to commit, then I'm going to send in my general. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I just popped a rally. And the, uh, the Swiss guards are starting to. Or Swiss guards, the Swiss halberds are starting to die. So we can't have that. We can't have the Swiss Alberts dying. I need every single man this final assault. I've not even really got to the final assault. This is like almost a mid bit. There's still like a little bit to go. There's a, I've got a random like cavalry guy here just chilling, you know, doing his bit. But here we go. So we've got shock and him up this way as well. I was like, right, this is it. This is going to be the last throw of the dice here. And this is it. This is going to be that throw of the dice. It's going to be some... French cavalry going up. I'm sending them, them around here. French king going in a column formation. He's going to keep going. These pavis are a long, long way away. We're going to get behind. And uh, here we go. It's a shame there's a few trees in the way. But there uh, you go. You get, the, you get the point. This cavalry is just going to wreck lives. And they are running down. There you go. The rid is breaking. And the uh, Archsilence is breaking. But Lorraine has realized what's happening. And his cannoneers are coming over to deal with them. So now's the time to push on this side hard as well. So I'm planning on just moving these sergeants up. Planning on moving my uh, guard of Scots up. And we're going to try and break through this Pavis line. Now is the time. He's focusing down my general. I need to get him out of there really. Desperately. And push on for this next front here. It's so annoying that I can just like... Like there you go. He's wavering. His general is wavering. It's ridiculous. And here we go. We're pu pushing up on this side as well now. Garda Scoss still have like healthy numbers. And the Sergeant still have fairly healthy numbers as well. I mean, the, they, the Garda Scoss have looked healthier. They, they look very bloodied up. But, I mean, they might break through. They are sort of flanking around the side here. Which gives me the idea with these sergeants here to flank exactly like so. And now I'm going to bring up the uh, halberdiers as well. Because I, I was like, well, the cannoneers can't fire everywhere. They can only fire on one side. So they're going to fire on this flank now. So I was like, right, we'll just have to fight where the enemy isn't. And the enemy being these gunners. Because that's the only real threat I've got now is this range. I could probably outmaneuver most of the stuff. I think I've still got some ammo on my crossbows so I can focus down these halberds if I have to break through. These halbers are pretty beaten up and may break anyway. But yes, the sergeants are now breaking it, uh, getting in. But they have plenty of reserves still. They have, like, foot knights and macemen still. So frustrating. And there you go. The pavis might break. But we're at the top of the hill, finally. And you can hear the charge. And there comes the macemen. Now the sergeants are in a sticky position. 
And I think, uh, yeah, they're not, they're a bit shaken. They're not happy with uh, being flanked, but they're not stirred. They're only sh merely shaken. They'll carry on the fight. And we're winning decisively on this side, though. And we've broken... I don't know what we broke through. I think we broke through Flailman. I think some Flailman came out and died on the uh, points. Yeah, it was. It was some Flailman came out and died on the points of these pikes and halberds. And now we're on to these pavis over here. And it'll be interesting to see. I mean, their general's dead, so they might break through this. And this is only all there is now defending this area. They've got a general left. As well, I and mean, then there you go, these uh, pavies are starting to waver, they're starting to go. The pikes, I did the same thing with the pikes that I did with the infantry. I'm flanking round. And I'm going to try and just get a flank on these uh, macemen so I can just either force them to route or I can just drag out this line even further. I'm just trying to break through in any point possible. God, it's a slog getting up this hill. This is like one of the like, like the costliest part of the battle, I think, for me, is this hill. Because of the gunners and just archers, just so painful. Look at the bodies there is, like, there's just bodies everywhere. And there you go, my sergeants finally break after that. They've had enough of being surrounded and they've had enough. They're like, nope, that's it, we're off back home. Off to gonna go eat some snails and some frogs' legs. You can see, look, they've got them running back down all the bodies. Are like, like, these are mostly archer sergeants as well that got killed. Jeez. But um, they, they should rally, I think. There's, they've got a healthy number. 78 is fairly healthy. We've got some uh, crossbows left as well. I mean, I'm starting to use their ammo sparingly on this uh, force pit. So I'm aware that there's still halberds to kill. And there you go. The pavies on this side are starting to break. Even with the gunners trying to support them. It's just not enough. No one can stop the Swiss. They are the masters of warfare. This guy here is from Brittany, clearly. He's got like the Brit Breton like arms almost a bit. Like the white and black. With like, I don't know exactly what you call that, like symbol but it, it's it that is i think the breton arms I'm, I'm pretty sure it looks very similar yeah these gunners these gunners must have got hundreds of kills i am not lying and they also do damage like they do minus 13 morale damage and charge bonus and charge speed they just like devastating i hate them i have i never get good kills with gunners but clearly this is the way to use them just put them on walls like this and you just you're gonna rack up because look at this Maceman wavering up 156. This is a huge win for us. He's got a Scoss still in here getting like loads of kills. Still wavering those uh, Macemen. And there's a way round now. There's a way round. If I can get my general up there, we could flank round. So I need to really send him up. Looks like we're going to set up Macemen. Oh, no, not Macemen. These sergeants again. Uh, flank them round. That would be a really good win. These Macemen are starting to lose troops though. And I, I swear that these gunners have been on, like, infinite ammo. They just seem to, like, never run out. But there you go. We broke through the pavies. And we're now on to the uh, pole arms here. How I've done this. It's a 2v1. How I've got this far, I have no idea. My shock break. My uh, halberds are winning but are wavering as well. Not sure how they're really winning. They're not really in combat. But if we can get to, like, here, then we're kind of almost safe from the angle. And uh, the dismounted chevaliers need to really just get up here now. Just get a move on. Move, move, move. And uh, I think I just sent the sergeants back in. But we did win that fight there. We routed a maceman unit of 135. A maceman unit routed. That's insane. Uh, I'm starting to lose my Swiss though over here on this side as well. They're wavering. My cavalry needs to get a move on. Needs to get up. My uh, crossbow's on the way. There goes my final unit of shock. And on this side, it looks like my uh, halberds are not going to be far off going either. It's a real shame. There you go. They routed. as a real, real shame. They might return. But, I mean, they might get shot all the way back down the hill by these gunners. Look at the... Yeah, they've just killed hundreds of this area here, have the gunners. They've done a disgusting amount of work. They were literally the unit I hate the most. And there you go. I had a tra chain route there. More Swiss breaking. More silence breaking. It's now just the Guard of Scots and the uh, crossbows up here. It's insane. I mean, there you go. The uh, 
Swiss Halberds rallied. But then also the Halberdiers for Bohemia are starting to waver. So that's huge. It's actually literally coming down to nothing. If I had Burgundy at this point, like seriously, where, if Burgundy was here, this would have been an easy victory at this point. I've done so well at this point to just like get them to this level. Um, the King of France is going to try and flank round. He's going to try and get a lot of kills. Uh, um, these uh, crossbows have still got ammo. They need to fire everything. The Guard of Scots is still in here. And sergeants, get the halberds back up. We need every single man. And here comes the general. He's wavering. We can get a flank into the side, though. But the gunners are back. The gunners are blooming back. And there you go. I mean, at least the... Uh, it looks like... Yeah, there you go. My general's died just there. But we've got the sergeants. His foot guards, uh, these foot knights were next. Um, it was so close, so so close. And uh, the guard of Scots, yeah, there. I mean, they're still winning. They are actually still winning their fights. These guys are insane. They've had like this is one of the best battles I've had with them. And now we've got all well, these halberdiers. Yeah, at this point, Bohemia's halberdiers just chain route. All of Bohemia's army just chain routes for some reason. It's just had enough of the fight. He doesn't concede or anything like that. He has a chain route. So at this point, it literally is down to me and Lorraine. If Burgundy was still in the game, they would uh, it'd be here as well. I, I probably like being it's a bit too passive aggressive with it, but I was very frustrated. I was like, no, victory was in our grasp, easy victory in our grasp. Like Burgundy has like a lot of troops left, at least a dozen, Fre and like a lot of them fresh and elite units. Uh, and there you go. So my uh, guard of Scots break finally at 60 men. They've had enough. It's that morale damage they do. They're doing 30, 30 morale damage. And I've lost my general, so that's also doing damage to morale. And these Swiss are trying to get up the hill. This is the slowest descent of the hill I've ever seen. Trying to just get through all the sheer amount of bodies that are here. And, like, more bodies keep dropping. And there you go. The Swiss are down. And uh, that is probably going to be the end of the battle because, well, I'm out. It's just Burgundy, which is held by the AI. So uh, we decided that that is a victory for the defenders. A valiant defeat indeed for the French and Burgundians. And uh, we'll have a look at the end results. And uh, yeah, so well played to the defenders, uh, Heads and uh, Rory. Uh, or Rory. Um, they did a really, really good job. Those gunners at the end just were too much, would say, for uh, my uh, attackers. And um, we'll quickly have a look at the results of the uh, Kingdom of France. So it was played by myself. Uh, got two, I got 211 kills with my general. I did quite well with him, I think I thought, with the um, crossbows outside. But um, when it got when he got inside, he kind of... I mean, he did okay with the Ritter as well. But yeah, he seemed to just get uh, peppered down by uh, those gunners at points. And then uh, my shock infantry getting 268. I think that's the one that went in first. The other one, get, another one getting 148. And then this final one, I think it's the one that got sent in at the end. I only got 48 kills. Uh, my halberd is getting 162 kills, which is not too bad. Um, the other one getting 80, which is reasonable as well. I mean, they were just targets for uh, gunners as well and archers. So they just kind of got held back till the very end. My sergeant's getting 237 kills. One getting zero. I think that's one I sent into pikes. That was a poor use there. I really could have used that better. And um, my archers getting 126. My frank archers. My third company getting 343. And my scots guard getting 591 kills. And then 600 kills. This is insane. Uh, I think it's the best unit that's probably like performed in the battle, like generally like, out of any unit, probably. Um, my my crossbow's got 132, which is not bad either. My gendarme's getting 110. My uh, sergeant's there, cheval, and gets six kills. It's a real waste, really, of money and uh, resources there. And the uh, drunk Norwegian was playing Bohemia. He sadly dropped. Um, he did okay with his uh, dismounted chevalier. He's getting 230 kills. His uh, Duke's bodyguard, I think most of them actually by the AI, though. <laughs> When they just chopped down cavalry. His Duke's bodyguard got 65 kills. His Levy Maceman got 100 kills. It's not bad at all. Um, his uh, Dismounted Chevrolet's got 124. And um, his uh, Household Longman getting 111 kills. They went into combat for most of that. His uh, Ducal Heavy Foot Guards got 114. And they were still fresh. They'd have got so many kills. Probably got about 300 kills by the time they routed. I mean, could have really done with them. His Pavi's Crossbow's getting 196 kills. And his uh, Gunner's getting 94. And uh, we could have done with his Chevrolet's as well that cavalry fight but um so well done to him and then heads who's playing as a uh, behemoth he got 129 kills with his, uh, with his king bodyguard sadly losing him in the fight his a uh, flailman only getting th 17 kills or 18 between the two units that shows like the quality his pavis you can see here didn't get many kills but they just held up the archers which got a lot more and um, the best one getting 68 is a uh, halberdiers uh, getting 30 kills 
both of them routing. This one routed really e easily. Didn't even need to be fought for some reason. Uh, his maceman only getting 58 kills. It's kind of poor for them. They're a pretty solid unit. And then his arch sergeants, which did the best. Getting 233, 221, 130, and 140, uh, 47. And uh, yeah, he brought eight units of arch sergeants. Jeez. Um, really did spam out those arches. And then uh, Rory, who was playing as uh, Lorraine. He, uh, again, with his sergeants and his uh, pavis didn't get many kills, but they just held up units to get for other units to get plenty of kills. His uh, guild uh, halberds getting 152. His uh, pikes only getting 31 kills before they're getting focused down. His Mosul merchant marines getting 111, the best one. His uh, foot knights getting 56, and his dismounted ridder, his most expensive unit, I think, probably, that he brought, uh, only getting 67 kills. And then his uh, Frank archers getting 135 kills, and his gunners getting 500. Uh, 16 so they are pipped by the uh guard of scots who nearly got 600 and his uh mountain sergeant getting 74 kills so well done to them but yeah so well done again to the defenders and thank you for uh everyone that joined much appreciated as i always i hope you guys enjoyed as well if you did then please do remember to support the channel with a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and a comment if you would like to see more 1212 and until next time legionnaires i'll see you guys later